Okay, today we're going to draw and paint a rose, a beautiful flower, starting with the stem and the leaves, drawing the veins on the leaves. We're doing several leaves and then we start with the petals, nice curvy petals, one by one, at the top and the side, making our way to the middle and then a little fold in the centre. And let's not forget the thorns. Yes, roses have thorns. Right, let's go for a red rose. Of course, roses can be all different colours. Have you ever seen a rainbow rose? Oh, they're so beautiful. But red roses are probably the most popular and famous all around the world. Why? Because they are a symbol of love. Yes, you can give roses to your loved ones. Just mind the thorns. Green leaves, of course, and stem. And if you like, you can draw your favourite flower. You can find a picture on the computer or in a book and perhaps try to copy the shape. And a rose is so easy to make. And there you have it, a gorgeous red rose. You did it perfectly. Well done. Hey kids, do you fancy drawing and painting a sparkly fox with me? You do? Brilliant! Let's start by doing a little bow in her hair. Outline of the head, the eyes and nose and other facial features, and the ears, they're kind of triangles, circle eyes, some eyelashes. If you want, you can pause this video and just copy it bit at a time. We're doing the paws and legs, a sort of round body and the back feet with the tummy and the tail, let's not forget the tail darkening up the border there you go so it's pretty easy to draw a fox like I said, just pause the video and do it a bit at a time ready to paint we're going for a pink for the hair bow same colour on each side lovely how about green in the middle and a bronze colour for the outside of the ears and the main part of the fox. It's kind of bronze or sparkly orange, if you like. There we go. Excellent. Let's go for a pale yellow, goldy tint. It's going to go on the inner ear and the inside of the face around the facial features. Very carefully painting around those eyes and cheeks and nose and mouth. Excellent, the other ear too. Super cute. Pink for the cheeks. Black nose and a red tongue. Let's go back to our pale gold colour for the end of the tail and the tummy. And I think we'll go back to our bronzy orange for the rest. That's it, it's super easy. You don't need too many different colours. Just the colour of a fox. Take your time and Bob's your uncle. Should we give our fox a name? Hmm, what name should we give her? How about Fiona the fox? No? Okay, how about Felicity fox? Well, whatever she's called, she's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, kids. You did a great job. Hey kids, do you love sunflowers? I do too! Let's draw one, yes! Start with the eyes and little oval shapes for rosy cheeks, half circle for a mouth, a big circle for the head and of course let's not forget the petals. These are gorgeous teardrop shapes and we're layering them. And a stem and some leaves. Darken around the border like a zigzag. And the leaves and stem as well. Ready to paint. Okay, we're going for yellow of course because it's a sunflower. Let's do every other petal. We can do a different shade in between. Perfect. Going for the slightly darker yellow here, almost golden colour. That looks really cool. Yay! Now the face. Let's go for brown. Going around the eyes. Around the cheeks and the mouth. Almost there. Done! 
Let's go for a pink rosy cheeks and mouth and a green stem and leaves. Brilliant. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Well done. You made a sunflower and it is beautiful. Hey kids, would you like to learn how to draw flowers? It is super easy and you can do it all different ways. Look, let's show you. First of all, you draw your centre, which is just a little circle, and then some nice oval shapes to form your petals. And there you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's try a different one. This time we're going to do a little cut in the middle of each petal, and they're a bit wider than the last one. There. Now for this flower, we're going to make the petals look like heart shapes. Perfect! This one has long, thin petals, just like a daisy. And we're doing a second layer as well. These petals are shorter and wider, with a lovely detail around the centre. So you can experiment with these different shaped flowers. Use your imagination and think how many different types you could draw. This one has more pointy leaves and two layers. Do you know how many different types of flowers have been found in the world so far? About 400,000! Can you believe that? All of them are different. So have fun with this, be creative and experiment with different sized and shaped petals. OK, I think we're ready to paint. Ooh, let's start with this one. Purple for the centre. Some lovely yellow petals. I have to say, this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Purple and yellow. Absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? Maybe you could name your flowers. Make up your own names. Do you know what the 10 most popular flowers are? Let's tell you. We've got the rose. You all know roses, don't you? They come in all different colours. But most famous rose is a red rose. And we're going to paint this flower's petals red. Lovely. And I'll mix it up with a different colour in between because that will look very interesting. After roses, the most popular flower is the tulip. They also come in all different colours and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got the sunflower, of course. Have you ever tried to grow a sunflower from a seed? I recommend it. They're amazing. And they're yellow, just like these petals. Also very popular and a wonderful sign of the first beginnings of spring is the daffodil. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are gorgeous and they really cheer people up after a hard, cold winter. Then we've got the marigold. Again, they can come in you know, slightly different shades. And here we're doing a lovely red one with a yellow centre. You can also do different shades of the same colour. It looks beautiful. Daisies, of course, are very popular. Have you ever tried to make a daisy chain? A necklace or a bracelet or even an anklet out of daisies, making a little hole in the end of the stem and then just joining them up together to form a band. It's so much fun. The orchid is one of the most beautiful flowers ever that we love to put them in our windows on display. Carnations are also very popular. Gerberas, which come in all different colours, just like this one. And jasmine. Jasmine has the most gorgeous smell. Let's go for yellow for the centre of this one and some purple on the outside. So it's like a backwards version of our first flower, which was yellow petals and purple inside. Let's carefully paint around our detail. There! Lovely. Hmm, let's do this one yellow in the middle. We've got a big centre point in this one and some pink around that. Excellent. What colour do you think we should do our second layer of petals? Should we do it the same or a different colour? Yay, blue! What a great choice! Blue and pink go really well together, don't you think? 
that's looking lovely. OK, let's do the next one. So we're going to go for gold in the middle. And green around the outside. Beautiful. It's like a little sun shining in the centre of a green field. Almost there. And we're done. Excellent. Last but not least, let's do our long petalled flower. Green in the middle this time and pink petals. This one does look a bit like a daisy, doesn't it? It's just a different colour. Imagine if we had pink daisies, wouldn't that be wonderful? Flowers are just amazing. And you can have loads of fun with this, designing your own, even making up your own names. There you go. Now let's see them close up. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Let's see another. Oh, look at that. Those colours are just wonderful. Oh, I'm feeling like summer is here already with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers really brighten up your day, don't you think? So if you haven't already done so, I recommend you get some seeds and plant them in your garden if you have a garden. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just plant them in some lovely pots. Do be sure to keep them in the sunshine and make sure you water them daily as well because flowers need sunshine and water to grow. You'll be so excited when you see those little green leaves sprouting up from the mud. Now, which one is your favourite? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I just love them all. Well done. You did a fantastic job drawing and painting these gorgeous glitter flowers.
toothbrush and toothpaste. Hey kids, guess what? We're going to draw a dinosaur today. That's right. Ooh, let's start with the eyes. Two small circles, two little arch eyebrows, a gorgeous bobbly hat. Now for the main body. And the legs and the neck. There! The detail. That's right. Good job. And some stripes on the hat. Rosy cheeks, smiley mouth, nostrils. And you can't have a party without balloons because I think it's this dino's birthday today. Fantastic! There! A little bit of flowery detail. Wow, what would you like to put on your dinosaur? Maybe some hearts? Maybe some stars? Right, let's paint. Gold first. For the bubble on our hat. And now we're going to do the stripes. Multicoloured, of course. I do love his party hat. Red tongue. Turquoise for the last stripe. Now let's go for some pink rosy cheeks. And flowers. There. Green next for the main body. Do you know much about dinosaurs? Can you think of any dinosaur names? How about T Rex? About Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus. Can you think of any others? Pterodactyl. There were flying dinosaurs, swimming dinosaurs, walking dinosaurs, meat eating dinosaurs, leaf eating dinosaurs, just so many different types. Tummy and brown toes. We'll do yellow for the centre of our flowers. Right, time to colour our balloons. Starting with red. Ooh, lovely. And yellow. Hmm, what colour should we do our third balloon? How about purple? What a great colour. and turquoise just for the finishing touches. Voila! You have one beautiful, party-tastic baby dinosaur. Ah! Hi kids! Today we're going to draw and paint some of your favourite toys. Do you have a favourite toy? Can you guess what this is? That's right! It's a ball! All you have to do is draw a big circle shape and then decorate it with any pattern you like. We're doing some curvy stripes. The curves show the round shape of the ball. Red for the first stripe. What colour shall we do for the second one? Yellow! What a wonderful idea! That stands out really well next to the red. Now what kind of games can you play with a ball? Let me see. Catch, football, netball, rugby, but that's a different shaped ball. Maybe even ping pong. What's your favourite ball game? Pretty pink stripe, lovely. Next we're going for green. We like variety. It could even be a ball ball hanging from a Christmas tree. Look at it sparkle. And we are done. Brilliant. Well done. Next, we're going to learn how to draw one of your all-time favourite toys. Now, can you guess what it is from the outline? Just copy our shape. You can pause the video if you need to. That's right, it's a duck. Now where might you play with a toy duck? In the bath perhaps? 
Maybe it's one of those ducks that lights up when it hits the water. Maybe it's one of those ducks that squirts water at you. Gorgeous yellow with a pink wing. What colour would you like to paint your duck? Let's do a turquoise blue eye. And finally, the beak is going to be gold. Lovely. Quack, quack. Right, what's next? Can you guess what this is? I'll give you three guesses. Hmm. A pile of books? No. A light? No, that's not a toy. That's right, it's stacking rings. Did you ever play with these when you were a baby? They're brilliant. You get a big ring, a medium ring, a small ring, even smaller, 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 and you have to stack them in the right order. They're usually lovely rainbow colours. We're going to do ours nice and bright too. So we've got turquoise blue, followed by bright pink, followed by even brighter green. So you just do lots of long oval shapes with a triangle on top. Each one is smaller than the one underneath it. Yellow next. So that triangle at the top is the top of the stick that we stack our rings on. That's going to be purple. Almost there! Done! Excellent stacking rings! Next I'm going to see if you can guess what this is. A circle, a rectangle, another circle with a smaller circle inside. Rectangle, hmm, a circle there, a semicircle there, another rectangle and another. What could it be? That's right, it's a train. Do you have a toy train? Or maybe a train set. I love those ones that link onto each other. Even the ones that go on the wooden train tracks and you can fill the whole floor with train tracks. This is gorgeous red and green. Beautiful. What are your favourite colours? What colour is your train? We're going to use pink for the front. And purple! It's going to be our wheels. Round and round and round. Just the big part, leaving the middle part empty. The end is going to be purple too and a yellow window. And the back side. And the inner wheels too. And there you have it. A very nice, colourful train. Excellent! Last but not least, we are going to draw my all-time favourite. Da -da -da. It's a rocking horse! That's right! Now if you find it a little bit tricky to do the outline, then you can pause the video as you go along and just do one bit at a time. Right, ready to paint? Starting with a gorgeous, natural, peachy, rosy colour, we're going to paint the main body of our horsey. Shall we give it a name? What do you think it should be called? Harry the horse? How about Henrietta the horse? What do you think? We're going to use brown for our wooden bottom part. That's the rocker that it is set upon. And the tail is going to be brown too, and the mane. So that's our horse's hair. Now we're going for purple. We're going to do a purple saddle. Lovely. What colour shall we do the eye? Blue. What a great idea. And yellow at the bottom. There you go. It's a beautiful rocking horse. Well done. Bye. 
Hey kids, today we're going to draw and colour some emotions. That's right, we're going to draw six different faces. See if you can guess which is which. They're so easy to draw. Each one is just a simple circle. We've got some oval eyes, except for the first one who's wearing oblong sunglasses. Mouths going in different directions, depending on the emotion. Eyebrows up or down, curved or straight. In this one, the mouth's wide open. In the last one, we've got one eye open and one eye closed, and the tongue is sticking out. Right, time to paint, starting with green. Now, which emotion do you think this one could be? Do you think it's sad? No. Angry? No. Maybe silly? Mm, no, I don't think so. How about... Happy! What do you think? Looks very happy to me. Let's just colour in the mouth black. Right, orange for the next one. Now, which emotion could this one be? It's definitely not looking happy. The mouth is turned down at the sides. Hmm. I think he looks pretty scared. What do you think? Black for the mouth. Next one can be blue. Now this one, their eyebrows are far apart. The mouth is turned down. Have you ever heard the phrase, I'm feeling kind of blue today? Well, this one certainly is blue because he's sad. Oh. Red for the next one. Have you ever seen red? What kind of things make your face go red? You could be sunburned. Maybe you're blushing and embarrassed or shy. I think this one is angry. Black for the mouth. Yellow for the next one. Hmm. Eyes wide open. Mouth wide open too. Which emotion could this one be? Happy? No. Angry? No. How about surprised? Yeah. Black for the mouth. Last but not least, I'm going for purple, my favourite colour. Now this face is looking super cheeky. One eye is closed, like it's winking at me. Sticking his tongue out, cheeky fella. I think this one has definitely got to be feeling silly. Red tongue. Finally the mouth. Some white paint to put a little bit of shimmer and shine on each of our faces. Which one is your favourite? There you go, six different emotions. Happy, scared, sad, angry, surprised and silly. Which one are you feeling today? Hey kids, how are you today? Ooh, fancy some cotton candy? Me too. Starting with the cotton candy squiggly lines. They kind of look like clouds layered one on top of the other. We're doing four layers and the cone, which is like an upside down triangle with stripes on it. And two circles for the eyes and a smile. Going for another one. This one's a bit more curvy. And we're just gonna darken up the borders. Make the color stand out then when we paint it. Wonderful, let's go. Starting with a light blue for the top cotton candy. And pink next. I have to say I love these two colors side by side. Blue and pink, what do you think? Yellow next, an excellent choice going around the eyes. Wow, look at it sparkle. A gold for the bottom layer. Hmm, interesting. Around the smile. 
stripe mouth and stripy cone. Every other stripe can be purple and the rest can be yellow. Hmm, let's go for pink cotton candy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's do it all one colour this time. You could even do patterns on yours if you wanted. Hmm, a red mouth and some yellow stripes, alternating with purple just like the other one, but the other way around. And there you have it, two cute cotton candies. Ah. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art.